How's it going, everybody? Doing the week four NFL recap here uh, today. Um, season's kind of starting to take shape. <laughs> Thursday. Lauren's gonna beat up on the Packers in Green Bay, so they're three and one now. Um, they might end up running away with that division. You never know. Green Bay drops a two and two. They come back, uh, they're actually up 7 nothing, and then 
Chicago start pouring it on. And then Denver start pouring it on. This is two bad teams, like, fighting to lose. <laughs> uh, Wilson, though, he has 223 yards, three TDs. He's actually having a pretty good year, Wilson, honestly. Um, the defense has just been terrible, even in this win. They're awful. Simmons is still out, Justin, Justin Simmons. I didn't know he was out. So that's definitely hurting that secondary big time. Um, they didn't really... I mean, this guy, uh, Jaleel McLaughlin, McLaughlin, had a seven carries for 72 yards. They didn't really run the ball that much. Um, I think Javante Williams got hurt again, so that's not good. Judy, 3 for 52. He spreads the ball around Russell Wilson, honestly. They did have some sacks. Uh, Benito Gregory's the kind of guy who was starting ahead of him at two and a half sacks and he forced the fumble Fields ended up fumbling once and throwing a pick at the end after he was ripping it up he had four TDs still an incredible game he was sacked four times 335 yards this guy Herbert running back at 103 yards so he did well they ran the ball well too DJ Moore 131 yards touchdown but their defense just utterly collapsed like I said this is two bad teams just all oh. I didn't realize the Bears have the right at the moment. It's only four games in. But they possess, I don't know whose pick it is, but they have the number one and two pick right now. I don't know where they got that second pick from. What team that is that's doing terrible. Um, Ravens beat up on the Browns. I don't think Watson played. Um, Mark Jackson had four TDs, apparently. So they have the rain one, Cleveland's two and two. 15 and 19 for Jackson, two touchdowns, 186 yards. They ran the ball decent. I don't know how Lamar Jackson ran for two TDs. Well, Mark Andrews has both the TDs receiving. Is what's his name hurt? Beckham Jr. He's on them, isn't he? The Browns, I assume, didn't do much offensively. Yeah, this guy is starting Thompson Robinson for Jackson through three picks <laughs> and was sacked four times. I don't know what's wrong with Watson, why he was out. Um, Titans beat up on the Bengals. That's not a good sign for the Bengals. Now they're one and three. Um, I don't know if Burrow is still banged up or what. Yeah, it was a beating too. Bengals got the first field goal and took over. Burrow just had 165 yards. Henry 122 rushing TD for the Titans. I was going to say the Oilers. <laughs> Tannehill, touchdown to pick. Really nothing going on there. Tennessee's 2-2. Two two, Tennessee will somehow end up like 9-8. and eight, Or 8-8. Eight, or, or you can't go 8-8 eight eight anymore. It'll be 9-8 eight eight or 8-9. Eight That's surprising by the Bengals. That's not good for them. Rams beat the Colts in OT. I think the Colts came back in that game too. The Rams are kind of a weird team right now. I know Cooper Cup is still out, isn't he? Because they were, you know, they beat him twenty three to nothing, and then they came back. Stanford a TD and a pick, three hundred nineteen yards. A Richardson, two hundred yards, two TDs, but eleven to twenty five. Colts. K Williams, hundred three yards, two TDs for the Rams. Ogle Tree had a touchdown for Indy. Those teams are both two and two. Um, I don't know how they're going to do the rest of the year. Um. Bucks beat the Saints. The Saints are now <laughs> falling back down to earth. Um, did they start 2-0 as well? Tampa straight one. I mean, what's his name? Looks pretty decent. Honestly, Baker Mayfield. I mean, Baker's always been a decent enough quarterback. He's never been complete shit. He had three touchdowns and a pick, though. So, uh, I think Mike Evans got hurt, so that's going to hurt them going forward. Derek Carr played at 127 yards, no TDs, no picks. I don't know. Hill came in once here, and Winston was in there. The both of them threw two passes. I don't know what the hell is happening there. Didn't really run the ball that well, or at much at all, actually. Only 19 tons. Well, two guys lost fumbles as well on the Saints. So the Saints go to 2-2. Two two. Tampa's 3-1. Tampa's going to end up winning that division.
Eagles beat the Commanders in a thriller in OT as well as the Colts Rams game. So the Eagles go to 4 0. Washington's now, I think Washington's starting 2 0. Now they're 2 2. That was a back and forth game. Pretty much the whole game was back and forth. Um, Howell has 290 and a touchdown for the Redskins. I mean, the Commanders. I knew I'd eventually just call them. I either just call them Washington. Even before they changed the name, I'd always just call them, usually just Washington. The Commanders. There goes a loud motorcycle. And I'm sure it came up with this gain up. It's picking it up. And I was not even close to getting on that meat, but Hurts, two TDs, 319 yards. Uh, A.J. Brown, 175 receiving yards, two TDs, nine catches. So nice little offensive game there. Eagles 4-0. They had a fight for some of those wins, but they're going to be there towards the end of the season. They'll probably make an NFC championship. But you never know. McLaurin, 86 yards, eight catches, receiving. I was going to say it again, the Commanders, Washington. Um, Howell was sacked five times. We'll get to the big sack game here in a minute. It might actually be coming up. Um, we'll see. Oh, no, it's, it's coming up at the end. Vikings uh, claw back against the Panthers to get their first win of the year. They are now one and three. Vikings did that. Panthers are on four. So the, the Panthers are on four. Maybe it's the Panthers pick the Bears have then. They didn't really claw back. Cousins, two TDs, two picks. Went through 19 passes. Thielen had 76 yards receiving. For the Panthers, 85 yards, two touchdowns. For Justin Jefferson, not much going on here. Looks like they had a fumble return. For the uh, Vikings. I'm surprised the Vikings aren't at least 2-2, two and two, to be honest with you. But not much going on there. Um, they could end up going their way back in there, too, as well, because they do have a good team. Uh, Texans beat up on the Steelers. All of a sudden, the Texans are now 2-2. Two and two. Um, I think the Steelers are 2-2 two and two as well. A lot of 2-2 two and two teams. And this was pretty much Houston from the beginning. Stroud, another two TDs, 306 yards. This guy looks good. Pick it. On Pittsburgh, 114 yards and a pick. N. Collins, I don't know who that is. Let's see what his, his full name is. I'm like reading the thing and not going to the box score itself. But Trubisky, Trubisky, Trubisky got in there and had a 3 for 5. Harris has 71 yards of running. The Steelers, Texans. Devin Singletary throws for a TD. I think he's a running back. Stroud has two TDs. Turns six yards. Nico Collins is his name. 7 for 168, two TDs. This guy Stroud looks pretty decent for the uh, Texans, so that would be good going forward. That's the thing with these. I'm pretty sure it's a rookie quarterback, right? Like, if you can get like anything, if they end up going like eight, nine, even seven and ten out of that guy's rookie year, and you see progress, that's a, that's a huge thing. Um, Raiders and the Chargers. The Chargers are two and two. Were the Raiders one and three now? They beat Denver because of course they did. Yeah. I heard that was not a good game. At least from people on Instagram. I don't know. <laughs> they the Chargers won twenty four seventeen. Devontae Adams and Josh Jacobs have some receiving yards. This guy, Aiden O'Connell, their, their quarterback, actually f loses two fumbles, fumbles three times, and throws a pick. I'd say it was the reason they lost. <laughs> uh, Herbert has a touchdown and a pick. Doesn't do much either. 167 yards. Uh, Keaton Allen has another touchdown. I feel like he's having a really good year. Um, six sacks for Khalil Mack. <laughs> okay, then. He's always been great. I didn't realize he was on the Chargers. I know he was on the Bears. Do they have their pick, too? <laughs> Unless he went to them last year. I don't know what it was still like. Six sacks. That's damn impressive for him. Um, but they're 2-2 two two now. That's the Chiefs' division to lose as well. Um, let's get to the 
the Chiefs might be next, or they might not. Actually, they are. That was a Sunday night game, right? Oh, come on, man. Cowboys destroyed the Patriots. 38-3. The Patriots look terrible. I think Mac Jones got benched. He's, I think he's kind of useless in garbage. Belichick is, is feeling the heat. Yeah, Matt Jones did get benched through two picks. Bailey Zap. I don't know who that is. They didn't do much running the ball at all. And they didn't do much passing. Oh, Mac Jones also lost the fumble, so he had a nice game. Prescott a touchdown. Cooper Rush. That's a running a receiver? I don't know. Running back. He, threw, he was two for two passing. For 20 yards. Prescott had a touchdown. He was sacked three times. They didn't run the ball necessarily that well. I mean, they ran for 124 yards. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Eight guys had rushing attempts. Although Prescott's was probably a kneel down. So, Did they, they must have defensively destroyed them. That's crazy because they only sacked them twice. Oh, two picks for this guy, Deron Bland, and he had a touchdown as well. His defense looked good. They're three and one, so let's get that's gonna be a race between them and the Eagles. Those two teams they play those two times they play each other are gonna be they they could be mean the division. Whoever wins the division. Uh, 49ers win again, I believe they're four and they beat up on the Cardinals, I think maybe McCaffrey. I gotta look at his stats because I think he's having, he might already have like 10 touchdowns. <laughs> Four TDs he had in this game. Like he is. Birdie had two TDs. So he looks like the real, real deal. Oh, sorry. That's Joshua Dobbs on the Cardinals at two TDs. And uh, Michael Wilson had the two receiving touchdowns for the Cardinals. Brock Purdy had a touchdown, but he still looks like a real deal. Three rushing touchdowns from McCaffrey, and he has 71 yards with a receiving touchdown. My God. I gotta see his stats for the year. Oh, so he has six rushing touchdowns already and 459 yards rushing. Wow. Where's his receiving? And he has one receiving TD, so he has seven total TDs. God, he's always been good. Adding him to that mix. It could end up being the Eagles. 49ers in championship again. Let's just hope the 49ers don't have any quarterbacks because they don't like four of them were injured. I'd like to see how that game would go with Purdy in there and seeing how they stack up when they have a quarterback. Who isn't hurt? Uh, Chiefs Eagles. Uh, Chiefs Jets, sorry. The Chiefs beat the Jets by three. Zach Wilson actually apparently played, outplayed Mahomes. He had actually a really good game. But of course, the Jets lose. Um. I mean, Mahomes had a pick and two touchdowns, and he was only 18 to 30. That's actually extremely bad for him. Yeah, Zach Wilson, 240 yards, five yards, two TDs. Like maybe he can build off it, even though he lost. Lazard had a touchdown, Kelsey, 60 yards. I don't know how to say this running back's name for the Chiefs. A. Pacchio. Pacchio. He had 150 yards and TD. Did they have a. Yeah, kind of. Oh, they have Greg Zerlein, huh? Chiefs, though, 3-1. and one. Um, Jets are 1-3. and three. So, hopefully, maybe what's the name will turn a corner. Zach Wilson. And the Monday night game, the Giants got smacked. Uh, Daniel Jones was sacked, I believe, 11 times. They, whew, the Giants look bad. The Giants look real bad. Apparently, my friend was telling me, because the Giants fan, obviously, I'm in New York, that he, they, their line is, like, god-awful. Geno Smith a touchdown. I think he got, I don't know if it was a cheap shot, but he was yelling at one of the guys. I did not see the play. I don't know if he got hurt. Oh, good old Drew Locke, former Bronco Drew Locke, who was part of the Wilson trade. Two for six, 63 yards. Noah Fan. Actually, I wouldn't, wow. Noah Fan was, had two catches for 63 yards. I guarantee they were both of Drew Locke's passes because they he was he threw to him a decent amount when they were both in Denver. Metcalf had a touchdown lock at 54 yards. They didn't really do much. They well, they actually you know what they defensively must have done shit. Uh, wow, four guys had two sacks on the, and then they had another three guys at one. 
Yeah, they had a 97 yard TD uh, interception for a touchdown. Giants just look bad, honestly. They do not look good. Denver plays the Jets next week in Denver, so maybe Denver can take advantage and get to that second win. Um, yeah, it's just a uh, recap of week four. Like I said, the season's kind of taking shape here. You're, you're almost a quarter way through they had that stupid 17th game. Another two or three weeks, you'll really kind of know who's where. It's kind of annoying being a Denver fan because... They just took care of business and didn't blow a big lead against Washington and just beat a bad Raiders team. And them too, because Denver was at home those two games, so you expect the wins against those teams. They'd be freaking 3-1 and one now. And maybe they don't get destroyed by 50 by the Dolphins, but they probably still like lose that game anyway, But because the Dolphins are just better than them. But Denver's another team like the Jets. They're stuck in this cursed rut, and they can't get out of it. <clears throat> But Wilson hasn't been bad, honestly. Nine touchdowns, two picks, I believe he has. Their defense is just so bad. It's so bad. Zach Wilson will probably throw four TDs. But anyway, uh, thanks for checking us out, and have a good day.